tonight's event. It's been another fantastic event. And a huge thanks to our guest speakers, Courtney Griffiths QC, Mariam Syed and Daniel Hall. Um, I believe our panel was truly reflective um, of the diversity that can be experienced at the bar. Um, we had three speakers. If we had more, we would have tried to make it even more inclusive and diverse. The audience, the attendees, the barristers who have come to network with these fine barristers have all been very uh, diverse and very welcoming. It is inclusion in the bar becoming barristers. Because the bottom line is this, the starting point is that it's currently well known how dissatisfied most students who take the bar exam are with the current BPTC. You know that's the professional exam you have to do after you've completed the three years of your law degree. Well, it's very early in the journey in terms of entering into fashion, in the studying. You know, one of the biggest challenges that we saw was people actually getting into the profession that first step. unbeknown to me, some people came along and they tested all the kids in my school and apparently the scholarship program that was um, sponsored by the Bar Council, who is the authority for barristers, and the Law Society, which is the authority for solicitors. Thank you. 
barristers like Daniel who want to come to the bar and become barristers who will like Daniel become barristers because they're good enough. No matter what anyone says to them, whether they're black or white, male or female, less able than the rest of us, you have to simply believe in yourself. Okay, so one of the main aims of the event was kind of covering the bar uh, because Green Marrow, we feel, is very solicitor focused uh, and therefore the bar society takes quite a lot of the flack for students that are interested in the bar and a career at the bar. So therefore to see an event of this magnitude go ahead was something really important to us and actually the, we have received support from the law school for one of the first times ever. First got a shout out from them, so it was really wonderful they've actually given money to us as well, which is great. Um, and we've just seen so many barristers turn up and support it, so many institutions turn up and support, um, which is just really, really wonderful. Um, and really nice for us to actually see so many alumni come back because with the unis focusing so much on the commercial solicitor route, to actually see people come back and be successful, they've gone to the bar and achieved a couple of things. We've got a judge here uh, who came to Green Mary just to see that amount of success from quite a small university from the East London University is just so amazing um, and obviously it wouldn't be possible without the hard work of both Kings and Queen Mary and Societies and also King and Council who has been instrumental in making this event happen <laughs> and Ruth Reed's patience with all of us and the organisation of this event so it's just been really wonderful to be part of. It's great for it to happen here as well because Queen Mary is 91% state educated so the whole momentum and movement happening at the bar is to make it more inclusive and this is a great space for it to happen. We have a lot of judges and senior barristers, especially Courtney Griffiths, who's over 40 years of court in QC, who's a black Caribbean barrister. It's almost unheard of, so it's great to sort of promote that in a place where diversity is thriving, so we're really, really happy to host it. Let's do it again next year. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Holly, President of KCL BMS. Hi, I'm Sabrina, the Vice President of Events for KCL BMS. We're a society that is catered towards aspiring barristers. We help bridge the gap between university and the bar. This year we've had a really big focus on diversity, particularly social mobility. And so doing this event has been incredible and absolutely in line with our ethos as a society. It's been great to have one big event.